Hello, welcome to Gab's Drums. Some of you may know, may not know, I love older whiskies. And the reason I like older whiskies, you're getting the cask in them and know so much the spirit. The problem is that older whiskies are quite expensive. I've done a 21 year old last week, Hazel Burn. Really nice. This week I opened it and I've been drinking it and what I've got is a Glen Keith a Glen Keith 24 year old. It's a single cask. It's not got many bottles out of it at all. Uh, it's got 198 bottles. It's bottled winter 202 and it's a bourbon barrel. The notes is nose, freshly cut grass, licorice, passion fruit. Palette, dried apricots, ginger snap biscuits, Portuguese custard tap. Finish, treacle, honey. Creme brulee. Never tasted creme brulee. So that's basically where the, note, the notes are. So I have had a wee go at it and I must admit it's okay. So we'll nose it I never told you the strength of it. It's 53% which is seasonally strong. It's a single cast. Now Glen Keith is a uh, Speyside and it's also non peated I think most of it goes to Ballantines. I'm not sure but it used to go to Ballantines. But it's basically most of it goes to the blend the blends and the independent bottlers get some of it. So on the nose with it shaking it. There's a bit of spirit there, it's not a lot of spirit in the nose, to be honest. Honey. Very fresh and obviously no pea. Honey. Quite fresh. No pea. We've got a wee sugar. See if that livens it up a wee bit. Just a wee sugar. Back to the nose. It's not a lot on the nose. Definitely a nice fresh. <coughs> excuse me. It's definitely a nice fresh. Very honey. Your typical floral. And it is a bourbon barrel. So we'll give it a wee sip. It's very spirity, very spirity indeed. That's going to take a lot of water to get to my palate. Now, that's one of the reasons I like older whiskies. You shouldn't be getting spirit in it. Um, I don't think the cask is working here. It's been in this cask for 24 years of age. I personally think we're getting too much spirit for a 24 year old cask. Let me do another wee taste. Now I've been drinking this. I'm going to put a lot of water in that. Now, what I'm finding with this, you're not getting what I think you should get in an old cask. In an old bourbon cask, I'm looking for fudge. Cream, vanilla, I'm not getting anything like that. The spirit is still taking over the cask, in my opinion. Now it's Gav's drums. I'm not an expert, but it's what I think. And I think 
If I had to drink this blind, I would say it's probably a 12 year old. It's not giving me what I'm looking for in an old, an old whiskey. So I'm going to put a lot of water in it. Now you see a lot of people putting spot in. I'm going to put a lot in this. I'm going to go for what I think a half teaspoon. And I like a half teaspoon. I'm copying Ralphie, you see. Only I've not got a teaspoon. So, see what that does to the nose. And there's no water in the nose. Honey, maybe wet grass, but that's all I'm getting. Right, I'm getting wet grass, but... <coughs> Excuse me, but I'm not getting anything else. <coughs> so, I'll get this cough. So, on the palate. And that's better. That's a lot better. Still getting the bunny in us. Still getting the spirit. But that will take water. And what I generally find older whiskeys don't like water, especially spring banks. But having said, don't put any water in an old spring bank, you'll just drown it. But this is going to take water. Um, 156 pound. That's what you're going to pay for a 24 year old. That's actually quite cheap for a 24 year old. Disappointing. Oh, well, it's a single cask. A single cask is what I call an honest whiskey. An honest whiskey. You don't know what you're going to get. And I suppose they don't know what they're going to get. I don't think it's been a great cask, to be honest. I think, I don't think it's a... A first for bourbon cast, bourbon cast. I think this has been used because I'm not getting the notes that I expect. Now, it would be interesting to aim these tasted this to see what they think and tell me whether I'm right or wrong or whether they think. I think I bought this. I ordered it just before Christmas because I was in hospital. I didn't pick anything up, and they kept it for me. So I got it, got it last week, <coughs> and I don't know, as I said, it might get better as it goes down, but it's no what I expected for a 24 year old. I don't want to drown it, there is flavour in there, there's a lot of flavour in there, but in the back here. The spirit's kicking in, and I'm not sure whether that should happen in a 24-year-old, and that's what I like about old whiskies. So, interesting one next week, really interesting one next week coming up. Um, thanks for watching Gab's Drums. Press the subs button, press the bell, uh, certainly comment, got a lot of good comments on the hazel bum 21 year old <coughs> and I can only thank the people who are watching very much on that so enjoy your drums take care and hope to see you next week see ya thanks very much